Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can probably tell already, the background is a little different right now. I'm not actually in Korea right now. I'm actually in my brother's apartment in Michigan. I flew out here two days ago for multiple reasons that I'm not gonna get into right now. I'm actually putting up a vlog about the whole thing next week, so wait for that to come out. But today I decided I would try making an impromptu kind of video about how college has been for me so far. Oh, also, I'm filming on a new camera right now. I bought a new camera. It's a Sony ZV-1, so hopefully the quality is a little bit better or a lot better. But yeah, today I'm going to be talking about my college experience so far. It's the third week of school for me now, I think. And if you guys don't know already, I go to the University of Pennsylvania and this fall, they have gone totally online. So no in-person interactions whatsoever, which is why I've been staying in Korea. And honestly, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this on YouTube so far. I know a lot of people have been doing like day in a life, week, week in a life like I already did last week. If you didn't see it already, go watch it. But I haven't seen anyone really have a frank conversation, honest conversation about what it's been like in an emotional sense, I guess. <laughs> so I thought I would just talk to you guys about it because I've had some feelings and I have gone through a roller coaster of emotions since school started. So yeah, I don't have any notes for this video. I usually write out my thoughts on what I'm gonna say, but I decided not to do that today. Maybe it'll sound more genuine. Maybe it'll sound just all over the place. So getting straight into it, if I had to describe what school has been like so far for me, I would probably describe it as sucky in one word. <laughs> for multiple reasons. So I'm just gonna say whatever comes to the top of my head. First of all, it's been really lonely, I think, especially as a freshman coming in, since we don't really have an established group of friends yet. I honestly don't know anyone who goes to Penn right now, except for the people who went to my old high school. But also that's honestly kind of meaningless because First of all, I'm not that close to those people, and second of all, none of them are even in any of my classes, so I don't talk to them either way. <laughs> but it's just been really lonely because I had an image of what my college experience would start off as, and this definitely has not been it whatsoever. I feel like mainstream media always emphasizes that college is a time to kind of let loose, have fun, discover who you are, make a more solid group of friends that you really connect to. You know, the first week is supposed to be partying and just finding your place and getting a grip of what kind of person you're going to be on that college campus. And, you know, obviously because everything moved online, my college experience kind of like skipped over that. Obviously, I feel like this video is going to sound a little, you know, privileged, I guess. Obviously, I'm really privileged to even be able to go to college, afford college, and all that jazz. But I still think it sucks since I am paying money to go to an institution, but I'm not really getting out everything that I would want to get out of it. And it's also rough because I'm constantly, you know, when I'm scrolling through Instagram, I see all these people that go to Penn that already have found a group of friends and it just makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong, like I'm the odd one out that hasn't been talking to anyone who goes there who doesn't have any friends. But obviously that's not true because the people who post on Instagram with these groups of people are posting it because they have people to hang out with, you know? Like the people who don't have anyone to hang out with, like myself, don't post those kinds of videos because, or photos because they just don't have the people to take those photos with if you get my drift here. And then it makes me worry that when I do eventually go on campus, will I even be able to make a group of friends? Because you know what it's like when, you know, you go to the school and a new kid shows up in the middle of the year that's how I feel like I'm going to feel like. I feel like when I go into Penn, people are already going to have that solid group of friends. And when you do have a solid group of friends, you're just inherently less likely to accept more people. Not because you want to be exclusive or anything. It's just because you found a comfortable place in your life. So you don't actually have a reason why you need to go out there and try to meet new people, which I feel like that is 
one of the main points of the first week of college no one knows anyone so you're able to go out there let loose really find who you vibe with and everyone's open to that you know it's not cringy or anything or it doesn't seem forceful at all to go up to someone you don't know and be like hey i'm Haley. what's your name also another part that factors into why i've been feeling really lonely is because i am in korea which is a 13 hour difference from the us or EST time zone. So I'm literally taking all of my classes in the middle of the night, <laughs> which is really rough because I'm so tired and all the events, I guess you can call it, happen during the day here. So it's in like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. in Korea. For an example, Penn tried to hold an online club fair, which means that all the clubs set a Zoom time for their own specific club that people could come join on the Zoom call, ask questions, get to know the people in that club. But the problem was, it was from like 6 to 9 p.m. EST, I think, which means it was from 7 to 10 a.m. in Korea, which doesn't sound that bad if you just Put that out there alone but also keep in mind that i had classes at 10 p.m and then 2 30 a.m until 5 30 a.m which means if i want to go to that club fair i would basically stay up for 20 plus hours <laughs> which I was not about to do because by 5.30, I am dead. I cannot even think of anything. I'm, I just, I'm just ready to go to bed. So I didn't go to any of the Zoom meetings for any of the clubs, which means I have no idea what clubs I want to join, especially because since Penn is such a pre-professional school, I guess you want to call it, so many people are on top of their game, you know, planning out basically their all four years of college, what clubs they're going to join, what classes they're going to take, Take. and especially because Penn is so pre-professional a lot of the clubs are actually really competitive you need to submit freaking applications they have interview rounds and all this stuff and uh, you know networking is a big part of Penn so I felt like if I want a better chance to get into a club I would have to go to those zoom meetings and actually form or try to form a personal connection with them which obviously I wasn't able to do and also the whole online club format is a whole nother ordeal. Like, I don't know how they're expecting us to feel engaged into a club and know if we wanna be a part of it just through Zoom meetings. I actually did submit my first club application though yesterday. I'm getting off track, but I applied for the food magazine club at Penn, which is really random. It's called Penn Appetit, kind of like Bon Appetit, but I don't know, I really like cooking and baking like you guys know, so I just thought I would shoot my shot there. So I'll let you guys know in the future if I got in. Um, hopefully I do. But back to the original topic, having that whole time zone difference has also been rough on its own because of that. My skin started to break out so much a week, only a week after I started doing this. I had pimples like here, 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 just everywhere but it's starting to get better because i'm in michigan right now and i guess my time zone thing my whole sleeping schedule is kind of normalizing a bit actually because my sleep schedule was so messed up when i was in korea i've had like zero jet lag in michigan the first day back i slept at like 11 p.m and i got up at like 9 a.m so god i'm getting off track so much okay back to the topic <laughs> Even as an introvert, it is kind of driving me mad because at this point, it's been about six months since I haven't been able to talk to any of my friends in person, except for like three or four times where I met up with people in Seoul. But it's already driving me a little bit mad and I feel like I already forgot how to interact with people. I'll be honest, I really don't like feeling left out. I mean, I'm pretty sure Basically everyone feels that way, but I feel like I have a hard time making friends with people if like I know that they already have a solid group of friends because I feel like I would be intruding. I felt like in high school, obviously I had a semester or half semester, I guess, of Zoom classes for high school my senior year. I felt like it felt a lot less lonely in high school to be going through these zoom classes because i felt like at that point you know i knew my classmates already and i already spent 
the majority of the year with my classmates getting to know them and everything so when we actually moved on to the zoom format i felt like there was still like a certain sense of camaraderie in the zoom meetings not that much but just a little sliver <laughs> so i felt like we were in this we we're in this together mentality and it still felt semi-normal to be in the zoom format since the people on my screen were still people i knew but moving on from that to pen where i'm looking just at a bunch of strangers no one really feels the inclination to talk to each other during class no one really has the inclination to share stuff about themselves so it just feels like i'm in a room with strangers where we're not getting to know each other at all which sucks that's how my social life has been the first two weeks of college basically all summed up it's been non-existent i've had a few sad sad boy hours <laughs> sad boy hours in my bed just watching netflix watching bojack horseman and just like staring at a reflection of myself and being like what the fuck am i doing right now <laughs> but yeah moving on academics the second half of this video so academics has been a roller coaster for me so far first of all i will put out there that the academics and the workload hasn't been as bad as I was expecting. Coming into college, maybe it's just me, but I had this expectation that there was going to be so much more homework than high school and than I was used to. The homework load, yeah, it's a lot, but also I feel like it's a it's less than how much I had in senior year of my high school. But I also do think that has to do with the fact that I went to a college prep boarding school, so that combination of words means a lot of homework and a lot of work. But I will also add to that, scheduling has been a bitch, like an absolute bitch. The thing is, I am a very unorganized person. I don't like to plan my day out, I just like going with the flow. When I remember to do an assignment, I do that homework. And also, it was easier in high school because you are going to class every day, so the I don't know what it is about the routine or something, but I'm more used to knowing what homework is due for that class and when it's due. And also teachers usually remind you, but on the whole Zoom format, especially because I was in a totally different time zone, it was so hard for me to remember when my classes were and also when my shit was due. And also I will tell you guys for any high schoolers out there, Keep in mind in college that since you're only having classes like two times a week for most classes, I feel like the homework, they usually have one homework assignment per week and you have the whole entire week to do it. So that is very bad news for procrastinators like me because <laughs> as an avid procrastinator, I love procrastinating. I honestly think that it has made my life better so far but it has been a bitch because I'll check my homework the day before it's due and then it'll take me like 3-4 hours to complete but also a reason why these deadlines have become so much harder in college is because almost everything we submit is online and it's due by a certain time rather in high school I just knew that what day the thing was due but I knew I could submit it anytime during that day or when that class happened during the day so it's been hard because not only do i have to keep track of what day my homework is due but also what time it's due and also all the quizzes and tests and all that stuff is also with any certain time period now during the day so it's not like i'm able to go to class and i know that class period is going to be when i need to when I'm going to be taking that quiz in person. In college, I need to remember and set reminders on my Google Calendar at what time I need to sit down, set my computer up, and get to work on this quiz. That was explained very poorly, but it's just been giving me very much stress. Some mistakes I've already made with this whole scheduling thing. I missed my first econ recitation. Um, I forgot to submit my first math quiz. Um, I also forgot that my first math quiz was actually counted for my grade, so I just have a fat 70 for one of my math assignments already, and it was the first math assignment so far. I also forgot to do my second math quiz. I missed a time period when I was supposed to submit it by, so I had to do it late and submit it, so I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Um, yeah, so I've, as you can tell, already in the first two weeks of school, I've already missed 
a bunch of assignments i've been late for a bunch of stuff which is definitely not good and it is not going to play out very well in the future <laughs> god as i'm like verbalizing all these things i've done wrong so far it's just making me realize how unprepared i am for this whole online college thing and also let me just say the whole online format makes it so much easier to procrastinate so that also sucks and also for my asynchronous classes where i don't even have to be on a zoom call with anyone it honestly feels like that class doesn't exist like for example my econ class and my chem lab class is completely asynchronous which means we have no like in sync lectures at all so it makes it really easy to just, you know, click play on the little video and just go on my little phone here, scroll through Instagram, TikTok, nothing's going into my brain. But after the video is done, I st I'm still like internally feeling like, oh, yay, I finished watching the video. I'm done for the day. I totally understand all the material, but I don't. So yeah, that's basically all the points that I really want to get through. I am praying to God, crossing my fingers, knocking on wood, knocking on flesh. Uh, that sounds disgusting, but knocking on whatever there is to knock on that I'm going to be able to go on to campus in the spring. I do not think I would be able to handle online school for one more semester. It's only been two weeks so far, but I'm already over it, okay? I'm already over it. I don't want any part of it. And you know, one thing that all of you guys can do very easily to help me be on campus in the spring is wear a mask, social distance six feet apart. You can still have a conversation six feet apart with a mask on. Your oxygen is not blocked in any way when you wear a mask so we can get those numbers down because honestly i do not understand how the us has still not gotten its shit together anyways that is today's video i know this was a little more chill a little less information packed a little less interesting but honestly after flying for 13 hours across the world I don't have that much energy this week and also i actually did film another video when i was still in korea but i forgot to transfer that footage onto my computer so when i flew here i don't have that footage right now so i can't edit it so this will may do but anyways i honestly liked making this video i feel like this is almost like one to self therapy you know getting all these thoughts out and also talking to this camera makes me feel a little less lonely than i already do right now because i'm quarantining for a week in this room not talking to anyone so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video also hopefully this kind of helped you guys for any of you guys who are feeling a little lonely during this time who feels like they're behind on what they're supposed to be doing because honestly i'm pretty sure the majority of people feel that way including me i'm feeling very lonely i have very sad days like this morning i was very sad because i was just thinking in my head like my life is so lame and boring and useless and meaningless <laughs> that sounds like i'm depressed i'm not depressed i'm just i just get into these moods sometimes but yeah hopefully this helped you out and makes you feel less alone for anyone out there who feels alone right now because I am in the same exact place as you. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys. So destroy the evidence, leave not a trace, burn it in paper trash. 